seen fit that Melvin, Melvin was on his record. Melvin said Melvin was going to be accepted Jesus Christ. He knew when he created man that I was in the book. Oh, he knew that you was in the book, that you would be in the book. Hey, Robert, he knew that you was going to be in the book, but it was left up to you to say, hey, Lord, I'm the one that's a sinner. I'm the one that's going to hell. And Lord, hey, thank God we're this morning. Thank God that we as a church, I'm not talking about Laurel Creek. I'm not talking about whatever name of church. I'm talking about the foundation that God created and Jesus put on this earth for me to build it. The Bible says, now listen to this. Without Christ, without Christ, the Bible says, in Him was life. And the life was the light of men. Christ is the life. Satan is not going to give you light. Satan is only going to show you dark times. Mm -hmm. When you go out here and live for Him, you're thinking, hey, look, guys, you don't understand that when you do something for the devil, you're giving your life for Christ. That's what's happening today. It's no wonder that, it's no wonder, it's no wonder, guys, it's no wonder that the church today is falling apart because Jesus, the light of this world, said in the last days, There'll be a hardening of the heart. They will not want to hear what God has to say. And they'll fall away. Amen. We need is a great revival. Hey, I'd like to see a great revival, but I'd like to know how that all of these backslidden and lost people, how you will get them in the church to preach to them. I'd love to see a great revival. But the Bible has to be fulfilled and Jesus said they'll fall away. Yep. The light. The Bible says he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew not. Well, this is what hurt. He came to his own and his own received him not. It's time. I've never called y'all hypocrites. Have a hypocrite. <laughs> With a smile. Hey, hey, Jesus said, I hear one of us got a hypocrite in You might as well say amen on that. Amen. Amen. We do. But see, the thing of it is, he was in the world and the world was made by him, but the world knew him not. Who is that? My Jesus. Why is he important to me? He is the only one. Amen. You may go anywhere you want to, find anything you want to. You may pay a preacher or pay a pope or, or do everything you can do, pray about a purgatory. But let me tell you something. You think that's right? No, it ain't. It's only Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. But through him is God and he the Holy Spirit. Yes. But as many as received him, uh-oh, I don't want y'all to read that next little part. I'm going to read it to myself. To them gave him power. Power. He said, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Praise the Lord. Amen. If I got power, come on, right? Turn it into a block of gold. <laughs> That's like we never changed the bid. <laughs> Not that kind of power. This is what I like about the power that I've got. Listen, let me demonstrate my power. I'm going to show you a miracle right now. Randy, video land, I'm going to show a miracle right now. Everybody excited about this. Mm -hmm. Get a happy Satan in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all see that miracle? Mm -hmm. Hey, he had to run. The devil had to run. Why? Because he can't stand the name of Jesus. Amen. What a miracle. Amen. Hey, it was. The devil would have done eat me up if it wasn't for Jesus and the silly power of the Holy Spirit of God.